right, first question. Median, mode, and range. You're going to find the mean, median, mode, and range for the following numbers. 25, 15, 10, 30, 25, 20, 35. You are finding the mean, median, mode, and range. Once again, the numbers are 25, 15, 10, 30, 25, 20, 35. Evan, mean, median, mode, range. I'm positive you were not done with all those yet. Yeah, but I asked the entire class to get their whiteboard out twice before class even started, so that's not my fault you didn't have it out. Twenty-five, fifteen, ten, thirty, twenty-five, twenty, thirty. I'm going to give you about one more minute, maybe. Marissa, I want you at your desk. I'm not sure why you're sitting on the floor because you're not being very productive down there. All right, friends, let's give it a try. This is Gleifel likes to do easiest to hardest when it comes to mean, median, mode, and range. But first step is least to greatest. So least to greatest would have been 10, 15, 20, 25, 25, 30, 35. Our mode is our most used number. That's simple. 25 was used twice. She's now getting back in her desk because I don't know why she's on the floor and she's doing, you know, nothing productive down there apparently. So next is the middle number. Hmm, looking up John's video. Oh. 11, 18 a.m. today, Monday, April 19th. That was literally four minutes ago, Marissa. When I was calling on you and asking you if you were doing what you were supposed to be doing to show me your board. So you have the choice. You can do what you're supposed to do, or you can go to the office. What's it going to be? What is it going to be? Let's do that.
Time out, friends. Oh my goodness. Hi, friends. Okay. Caden, or not Cadence. I'm, I'm, hold on. Hold on. I'm, I'm putting my thing down. Sorry, I'm having a spiel with my class. Anyways, mean media and mode. Hopefully you guys all got it right with all that extra time. Um, yeah, thank you, Mia. Anyway, so um, to find the middle, whoop, whoop, bloop, bloop, bloop. I cross off to get to the center. This one, we have an odd number. So we have a center number. Sometimes we don't have a center number and we have to like divide. If we would have, you know, had the numbers 30 and 32, well, in the middle of that would be 31. Range is also simple. It's biggest minus the smallest. 35 minus 10 is 25. Now the hardest part, which Ms. Kniffel likes to say. <laughs> I just choked on my own spit. Um, Mrs. Kniffel likes to say for last. Add them all up and divide them. So 35 plus 30 is 65. And then 25 and 25 is 50. We know that. 20. And then we have um, 20 plus 10 is 30. And then 15. Five and five is zero, 10, which is 12, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 160. Anyone else get that? That's what I got. 160 divided by seven. Seven can go into 16 twice, which is 14. Bring down my two. Zero can go in twice, which is 14. Bring down my six. So my mean is 22 and six sevenths. I have seven left over and I throw it over my seven. I'm pretty sure it was 160, Mia. I think that's what other people got. So it was 160, it wasn't 150, Mia. So you just added wrong and that's okay. Let me see your boards, everyone. Evan, I have absolutely no idea where any of your answers are. You need to label them, mean, median, mode, range. I don't know where just random numbers are. They need to be labeled. Can you not do that? All right. Ev or Ethan, you forgot to do the second part of the mean. All you did was add it. You had to divide it by those seven, bud. You forgot the second part. Okay. Looks like everyone else pretty much has it. Okay. Erase. Erase, erase, erase. All right. Next one, we're going to add a fraction. Two eighths plus three fourths. Two eighths plus three fourths. Two eighths plus three fourths. Julian, put the pencil down. You don't need it anyways. Two eighths plus three fourths. It says four. four. You're right. Four, four. Let me try that again. Sorry, Mrs. Kneifel had an improper fraction. That's not what I wanted to do. I'm sorry. I'm taking it back. How about this one? Two eighths plus two thirds. That was Mrs. Kneifel's bad. I wrote that not the way I wanted to. Sorry, sorry. Two eighths plus two thirds. Thank you for letting me know. That was my bad. My brain works faster than um my hand, apparently. <laughs> Remember, you're adding fractions. They need to have the same common denominator. Common denominator. The common denominator. I know Mrs. Kamiple is so good at singing. Two eighths plus two thirds.
don't I don't know what that means. Oh. Two eighths plus two thirds. I'm gonna give you about one more minute because I still see some people writing. Take your time. Remember, the goal is to review, it's not to rush. Okay. So we have to find a common denominator between our denominators, which are eight and three. So Mrs. Kneipel is going to count by eight. So I'm going to count by three. So I have eight, 16, 24. That's probably high enough. Three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21. <gasps> 24, our common denominator is 24 and 24. So I have to change both these fractions to get the common denominator. So I'm gonna make both my denominators 24. To get eight to 24, you have to multiply it three times. So then I have three times two, which is six. To get three to 24, you have to multiply it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times. Eight times two is 16. So now I have six plus 16, which is 22 over 24 when I add them up. Can I leave it there? No, you cannot leave it there. We have to reduce. And both of these are even numbers, so we can divide them by two. Two goes into 22 11 times. Two goes into 24 12 times. Your final answer should be 11 over 12. I repeat, final answer, 11 over 12. Let me see your boards, friends. Evan, do you see what we did? Because what we did is not what you did. So Evan, look at your board. Where did you make your mistakes? Because what we did is not what you did, Evan. Most of you guys got that right. Remember, we can't forget to reduce. Okay, next problem is a subtraction fraction or subtraction, <laughs> subtracting fraction. I don't know what I was trying to say. Anyways, remember, got to have a common denominator. We have 10 fifteenths minus one fifth. 10 15 minus one fifth. I want to see the right answers on this. We should be able to get the right answer on this question. We have done this multiple times. 10 fifteenths minus one fifth. I believe in you. I believe, I believe, I believe. 10 fifteenths minus one fifth. Find a common denominator. Ten fifteenths minus one fifth. Find my common denominator between fifteen and five. Then subtract. Remember, it is subtraction. You may not change the order of the numbers. Ten fifteenths comes first. Yeah. 
That's okay, Isabel. I figured you were. That's fine. Thirty more seconds, then we're gonna go over this problem. All right, first thing we have to do is find our common denominator between 15 and five. So first step, I'm gonna count by 15s. 15, 30, 45. Now I'm gonna count by fives. Five, 10, 15. Oh look, my common denominator is 15. So I do not need to change 10 over 15. That stays the same. I do have to change one fifth. Five to get to 15 is times three. Three times one is three. My new problem is 10 fifteenths minus three fifteenths. 10 minus three is seven. 15 goes over. My final answer should be seven over 15. Let me see your boards. Seven over 15. So Evan, I'm not sure what you did, but look at my board. Cause once again, your board is not my board. You have to find a common denominator. You did not do that. You had like five minutes and you didn't really do anything, bud. We should be working out these problems. Okay. Next one. All right, multiplication. We have 10 twentieths times five tenths. 10 twentieths times five tenths. If you can cross simplify, feel free to do that. Landon, I shouldn't be able to see your nose. Cross simplify. Landon, I don't know what you're doing with your camera, but can you please stop it? It's very distracting. That's division. You're literally just cross simplifying and multiplying straight across. This is multiplication. All you do is cross simplify, then literally multiply. Now we could make our lives really hard and do 50 over 200, but that would take forever. So we can cross simplify. 10 can go into 10 itself, divided by 10, divided by 10. So both our 10s become one. Guess what? Five and 20. Those are compatible. Five can go into five one time. Five can go into 20 four times. So now we had one four times one over one, which equals one fourth. Final answer, one fourth. You could have multiplied straight across and then you could have simplified, which would have been fine. But it is one fourth is our final answer. Evan, I literally don't know what you're doing, bud. It's one fourth because five goes into 24 times, okay? 
Let's do another multiplication one. It's not four over one. It is one fourth. The ones are on top. One times one is one. Four times one is four. The four is the denominator. One is the numerator. The answer was one fourth. End of discussion. That was the answer. All right, let's try this one. Two-thirds times six-tenths. If you can cross-simplify, cross-simplify. If you can't, then just multiply. Two-thirds times six-tenths. Remember, cross-simplifying literally just makes your life simpler. That's the whole point of it. Simplify, simple, see how that works? all right let's work this problem out the first thing you need to do is see if you can cross simplify well i know two and ten are both across you do a diagonal mia across okay cross simplify so 2 and 10 are both even numbers, so I know that those can be simplified. 2 can go into itself one time. 2 can go into 10 five times. Now 6 and 3, well, Mrs. Kneifel knows her multiplication facts, so I know 3 can go into itself and 3 can go into 6. So 6 becomes a 2 and 3 becomes a 1. Now we have 1 over 1 times 2 fits, which equals 2 fits. Final answer, two fits. Let me see your boards. Mia, I'm not sure how you got that answer, ma'am. You didn't write down the right problem, I don't think. Mia, it was six over 10. I don't know how you, why you flip. You don't flip your fraction in multiplication, that's division. We are doing multiplication. There's no flipping fractions. This is the exact same format as the last one. Evan. Come. All right, we have time to do one more of these, maybe, maybe one more multiplication problem. Remember, you don't flip your fraction in multiplication. That's division. Um, I know, but we're going to try to get through them, Michaela. No one's going to kill us if we go a minute over. All right, try this one. 
You only have about a minute to work through it because we are short on time. So just try your best. Three eighths times five ninths. If you can cross simplify, cross simplify. Remember, you cannot always cross simplify. That just helps, but you can't always do it. And remember, we're not flipping our second fraction. That's division. This is multiplication. Three eighths times five ninths. I meant to tell you to go to the multi-purpose room. I'm sorry I said Mrs. Zapos. So that was my bad. I have a I have a note here where I'm supposed to send you and I totally missed it. Nope. They were supposed to go there earlier. All right, friends. Keep going. Don't tell me you're bored yet. I don't want to see it. Give me one more minute. We still have a minute. Okay. Well, I guess now you can show me your board. So you can only cross simplify one of these. You can cross simplify three and nine. Five and eight, you cannot. Three can go into nine three times, which is now five over three. Three can go into itself one time, which is now one eight. One times five is five. Eight times four is 24. Guess what? We cannot simplify that. Final answer should be five 24 Final answer, 5 24 We still have lots of time to continue on math because math RT or um, math I learn it's until next week. So way to work hard today, guys. I will see you later. Thank you. So long. Farewell. I don't know. Just for fun. Bye, guys. All my friends in